Hey everybody, it's Brian. Today we're going to do a quick look at Canva.com, not Canvas, Canva.com. If you've not used it before, this is kind of a free design tool uh, online that allows you to create custom graphics or images that you want to use for different things. So we're looking at uh, creating headers in Canvas or in Seesaw today. Um, so I'm on Canva.com. You can sign in with your Google account and I'm going to click on create a design. And I'm going to start off with um, Canvas. Uh, and so I'm going to do a custom dimension and we're going to do 1024 by 200. And that ensures that it's wide enough to take up the whole screen and 200 is just kind of a nice height to use. You can play around with this, but I'm going to create a new design and it throws me into this little editor. If you've never used Canva.com before, there are um, free tools and paid tools. We're going to stick with the free ones. You can sign up for the paid version if you want to, but I'm just going to keep it simple today. Um, over here on the left are all the tools you want to use. So under elements, there are all kinds of icons and graphics and, and images. Um, so we're going to do a little header for like a biology class, let's say. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is change my background. And I don't really like textured backgrounds. A lot of people do. Um, I'm going to just use a, actually, you know what? Maybe let's do this chart paper um, or that lined paper. Uh, maybe not. Let's do like a post-it note style yellow. So it's kind of a nice yellowish gradient. Again, play around with it. You can use whatever you want. Um, you can throw filters on there if you want to. Uh, so you can get really, really deep with this. Uh, but uh, again, just for this quick example, I'm going to skip that. Um, then we're going to grab some icons. So I'm going to scroll down to icons and I can see all. And you can search for different things up here in the search bar. You can search for science or cooking or whatever. Um, but we're going to find kind of a sciencey one. And uh, for biology... Oh, let's see. Actually, I think I had already used uh, a microscope somewhere. So let me go back to, let me close this under elements. Yeah, recent. So I'm going to grab this microscope and it throws it here. I'm going to slide that over here to the right or to the left, sorry. And we'll rotate that a little bit, throw, make it a little bit more interesting. You can change the fill color by clicking on the color. So you can pick a different color if you want to. Like if you wanted white, I'm going to keep mine black for now. Uh, let's grab my heartbeat monitor because it's biology, living things. This, you can layer different things. Uh, you can change the layering. So I'm going to, I don't want the heartbeat on top of that. So I'm going to go to position in the top right and I'm going to set it down once. Now it goes behind the microscope and we'll put it a little bit. And I want that one to be white. So over here on the left, there are different kinds of text you can use that are paired with fonts. They're for different things. And you you can grab one of these. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if I click and drag it, or if you click on it, it will add to the page and it notice it keeps the formatting and I can change this to bio 101. And then I can add a subtext or I can just get rid of it entirely um, and recenter that. So maybe actually that looks pretty good. So maybe we'll keep it that way. Uh, so you can design your header and when you're done, all you need to do is click on the download arrow up here at the top. Save it as a ping file type or PDF, uh, not a PDF, actually, don't do that, a ping or a JPEG, uh, and I'm going to download. And now this image can be uploaded into Canvas. So that's it. I'm using Canva.com.